Oregon State right tackle Talise Fuaga is my 14th ranked player in the 2024 draft class. I have him as a guard on my board. He's my top ranked guard, but I think he could play tackle in the NFL. There are some tackle to guard converts where we're saying this guy has to move inside in the NFL. With Fuaga, I think there are some limitations that could give him trouble on the outside. It's more of a situation where I just think he's an elite guard prospect. I think he has all pro potential if he moves inside. As someone with limited cooking skills, I've always struggled to find healthy meals that taste good and don't take a long time to prepare. But Factor helps me avoid takeout and ordering in with delicious and nutritious, no-nonsense food that's ready quickly. Their meals come pre-prepared, ready to eat in two minutes, which is perfect for busy lifestyles. And if you want to try this out, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code ATOZFILM50 and get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you're an active subscriber. He's a two-year starter at Oregon State. Every single snap that he's played in college has been at right tackle. And this past season, he was PFF's highest graded run blocker at 90.9. I think he's without a doubt the best run blocking offensive lineman in this class. There's very few holes to pick in his game. It starts with his raw power at almost six foot six, 332 pounds. He's explosive off the line of scrimmage. He can drive down blocks and double teams backwards, create a ton of displacement. But Oregon State runs a lot of outside zone, and I think he's just just as good if not better as a zone blocker. He has the quick first step to establish leverage, get across his target's play side shoulder. He's able to pull off some extremely difficult backside cutoffs. He has the straight line speed to stay attached with the block as they flow with the run. And then when he's climbing to the second level, that's where you just see him take over games. There were just so many pancakes on linebackers at the second level, a ton of pop on initial contact. A lot of times that first strike is really all he needs to send them flying backwards. When he's blocking on the move, he is someone that's going to jab or punch at the second level instead of securing contact and just sustaining that block. He's trying to put defenders on their backs, get those highlight blocks. I understand it. At the college level, he had a lot of success with that strategy, but in the NFL, it's harder to just toss guys around, so he does need to become more conservative with his approach. And then, like I said, he's got that first step to get out in space, really good closing burst as a puller to reach his target. He's not like a Penny Sewell athlete out on the move, but I would say definitely above average explosiveness and straight line speed. And then he's very assignment secure as a run blocker. There's a lot of mental processing that goes on as far as locating your assignment, adjusting to a changing defensive picture, especially if the defense is slanting or running some kind of blitz. A lot of times the player that you're supposed to block can change in the middle of the play. And there were very few times that he was out of position, quick diagnosis of whatever the defense is thrown at him. Some of my concerns with pass protection is why I have him moving inside to guard. He wasn't a bad pass blocker in college by any means, didn't allow a sack last year, only 12 pressures. At the Senior Bowl, he measured in with 33 and 3 eighths inches arms. That's very short for an offensive tackle, but it has pretty much nothing to do with me thinking he should change positions. Ideally, he would have longer arms, but I think that's playable in the NFL. With Fuwaga, my biggest concern is lateral movement skills. I'm not sure if he has the pocket range and slide quickness to mirror NFL pass rushers up and down the arc. And I've watched seven games of Fuwaga at this point, and I actually wrote down every loss that I saw in pass protection. I've got five in the bad losses category and five in the minor to late losses. You can see there's only one time he lost to power. It was later in the rep. It wasn't a disastrous loss or anything, but Braylon Trice was able to walk him back into the pocket a little bit. There was one time against Washington State where he got tripped up on another offensive lineman, so I barely even count that. And then a missed stunt pickup against Colorado. Outside of that, it's all speed rushes and inside counters. That's really the main thing that I worry about him blocking in the NFL. NFL. I think he is kind of lacking in the short area quickness to mirror a quick move inside. There were a few plays he got beat by an inside spin. Sometimes it's just a club to the inside shoulder. And then there weren't many plays where he was facing truly high level edge speed. But when he did get tested, I feel like the limitations with his pocket range were kind of exposed. And then he also has kind of a technique issue that I think could exacerbate this problem in the NFL. There's basically three ways that you can land your punch in pass protection. You can punch with the inside hand, 
hand, you can punch with the outside hand or you can do a two hand strike. And Fuaga is very committed to using an early outside hand strike, which in the NFL could give him problems. When you watch him in pass protection, especially on third down, true pass set situations, he's throwing the outside hand early in the rep, trying to establish first contact. And he does have a firm initial punch. So especially at the college level, that can result in some decisive early wins. He can just land that punch and end the rep immediately. But if you try to do that in the NFL, if Nick Bosa or Miles Garrett sees you throw that outside hand, they're gonna swipe it down immediately. And then you have to have the recovery ability to get depth and block that speed rush. So he's gotta become more patient and nuanced in pass protection, really develop the ability to switch up his technique and not just use the same punch every play. A lot of times really technically proficient tackles, you'll see them flash the outside hand, draw out the pass rushers move and then pull it back and then they're kind of punching at air. This is definitely the kind of thing that an offensive line coach can fix, but I think that needs to happen before he tries to block some of these speed rushers in the NFL. But he almost never loses to power. He has outstanding natural play strength, 332 pounds. It's a tough task to try to run through him. At Oregon State, you hardly ever see him like drop his anchor and actually use anchor footwork and technique. He's just so much bigger and stronger than everyone he's going up against that he didn't really need to do that. But that's something that's kind of an unknown with Fuaga at this point. And then just like as a run blocker and pass pro, he's always looking to finish. Definitely someone that plays with a mean streak. If he doesn't have anyone to block and his guards getting bull rushed, he's going to slide over, plant them into the ground nine times out of 10. And outside of one play, like I mentioned against Colorado, I didn't notice any issues with picking up stunts and twists. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any NFL draft prospects that you'd like me to cover. And if you want to see my full draft board as an interactive, filterable table, I've got that up at a to zsports.com. The link to that is in the description.